Oh, hello guys. Listen, I haven't seen Sam for a long time. Do you know where he is? I should look for him. He must have come up with another prank. Yes, I did it! Uh, what's that yelling? Yes, yes, I did it, look, Sue. What happened, Sammy? Explain, please. I solved the most difficult labyrinth in the whole world! Now I can rightly be considered the king of labyrinths. Wow, this is a really hard one. So that's what you've been doing all this time. Now I see. Ugh. Sam, what's wrong with you? What's up? You were so happy. Oh, Sue. I just understood that I don't have anything to do now. I solved all the labyrinths I found at home. <sighs> oh, I've got an idea. You passed only 2D labyrinths, right? What about a 3D one? 3D. Right. Three-dimensional? Exactly. Oh, but where can we find one? We won't find it. We're going to make it. Wow, so let's make a labyrinth right now. We need a cardboard square like this to start. Are you going to draw a labyrinth? But you promised it would be 3D. <laughs> no, Sam. This will be the base. And we'll need two pieces like this. Guys, be careful dealing with the cutter. You'd better ask an adult to help you. Aha! So you're going to draw it anyway. <laughs> nope. I just need to mark it, which we'll do right now. But for what? There's neither beginning nor end. That'll be a strange labyrinth. <laughs> Sammy, that won't be a labyrinth you're used to. But you'll surely like it. By the way, could you cut a notch in the second piece? Just be careful. You got it. Safety is my middle name, ma'am. Huh. <laughs> Sue, while you were doing the marking, I didn't just cut the notch, but also drew all the lines right away. Did you mark both sides like I did? No, I thought it needed only on one side. Don't worry, you can finish it now while I'm cutting the notches in this piece of cardboard. Right, the first part is ready. Where's Sam? Sam! Sam! Sammy? <laughs> Phew! Got here just in time. I practiced a little there on another piece of cardboard. Well done, Sam. Wow, you've even cut the notch. Wait a second. What other piece of cardboard are you talking about? This one. I thought you didn't need it. Oh, great, Sam. You did the right thing. This square is also needed. We should only cut it into four pieces. <laughs> I knew that we'll need this thing. But, uh, why do we need it? We'll finish cutting now, and you'll see. Oh, I completely forgot to cut out the notches. They must be in the corners of the little squares. <laughs> I'd never have forgotten it. <laughs> yeah, right, Sam. Remind me who hit cookies under the pillow yesterday and couldn't find them for three hours? If you knew where they were, you could have helped me. And besides, I had so many thoughts in my head. By the way, guys, write in the comments what things you forget most often. I have no doubt our friends almost never forget things. For example, they don't forget to hit the bell not to miss our new videos. Whoa, this is going to be something truly complicated. Now let's start bringing all the pieces together. It's getting more and more interesting. We have to stick little squares right along these marks. Huh, I've just been thinking why these lines are needed. You're so attentive. I'm glad you noticed them. Well, you know me, nothing can hide from me. <laughs> For example, yesterday night I saw someone ate all my Nutella. Well, that's not me for sure. I guess it just vanished. You know, yummy things tend to disappear. Really? I didn't know. Guys, did you notice how all your sweet candies, gummies, or Nutella tend to disappear? Write about it in the comments. Sam, do we have anything left over from previous crafts? If we do, please bring them. No problem. Coming! I don't know which ones you needed exactly, so I brought everything I found. Well done, Sam. We need pieces like this. You brought everything needed. Now let's cut the strip this way. And Sam, could you help me? What can I do for ya? Uh, cut these strips into little pieces, but don't forget to be careful dealing with sharp objects. Will do. We finally started making the most interesting part, the labyrinth itself. We drew all the markings on the cardboard to make it easier building now. Done! I've cut a whole lot of strips. Oh, what are you doing? I'm making a labyrinth, the most complicated one. Whoa, can I try too? Are you sure? Remember, you have problems with the glue. Oh, right. Maybe you'll manage this part better than me. 
Guys, let's remember together all the videos where Sam glued something to himself. <laughs> right in the comments. Look how cool it's coming out. Whoa! Sue, so why do we need these walls anyway? It won't be comfortable to draw lines with a pencil. <laughs> Sam, look at you. You don't need pencils for this labyrinth. <laughs> really? How will we solve it then? Soon we'll finish making it and you'll see. Sam, you're brilliant! All the strips you've brought me come in handy! Actually, I keep all the scraps which remain from our crafts. Oh, wait, but where can you keep so much cardboard? Oh, I have a place. Huh? She just hasn't looked under her bed for a long time. <laughs> oh, naughty slime. That's why I hear rustling under my bed all the time. I started thinking that we've got mice, but that was all you. Oh. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll clean up and you won't run away from me anywhere. You'll help. Oh, oh, but you know I hate cleaning, so have pity on me. <laughs> Guys, did you see how easy it is to frighten him? What about you? Do you like to help clean the house? Write in the comments and tell us. Sam, where'd you go? Who's going to help me? To do the cleaning? <laughs> no, I, I'm sick. <laughs> Sam, you're such a cheater. I'm telling you, help with the labyrinth. Wow, it looks amazing. Are you feeling better already? Uh, I just had a moment of exaggeration. Uh, did you know about a momentary flu? That's what it was. <laughs> I guess someone just had a momentary attack of an illness called Little Liar. See, you also admit that it's an illness, so there's fair. Anyway, how does this thing work? We need a little ball. Hmm. Oh, Sam, what do you have there? What? Did I get dirty? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, look what it is. Wow, I found a ball. Uh, wait, not you, I did. <laughs> well, let's try our labyrinth in action. Ha, easy peasy. Don't celebrate beforehand. First, give it a try, because it's not as easy as it seems. Okay, let me try. Now you'll see how the professional does it. Uh, one moment. I'm only going to bring it right here. Sue, this labyrinth was actually made for me. Okay, right. But I want to make sure that it's difficult enough for you. Oop. Ha! Ah, got it. Not fair. Okay, here you are. Play, but you'll see that I'm going to solve this labyrinth quicker than you. <laughs> Oh, guys, Sam is so slow solving the labyrinth, and I want so much to play, too. Sam, how much longer? Oh, yeah. oh, wrong way. Okay, almost there. Oh, That's it, guys. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button not to miss our new video. Bye, guys. Sam, don't you want to say bye to the guys? Yes, yes. Bye, guys. See you later. Well, well, Mr. Archimedes, let's test your theory in real action. <laughs> the system's already launch. Great jump, ten points. Splashiness, three points. Unsinkability, zero points. Floating, perfect. And whoosh. How do you like it, Archimedes? The jump gets a B, but check out this splash. Triple flip and bingo! Zero splatter. The water pushed out these three swimmers. It's time for the final boss! <laughs> no! Shoo, I lost the most precious specimen. Sammy, if you threw the metal ball into the toilet, it would get clogged. It would be sacrificed in the name of science! Uh, what if we leave Archimedes in our toilet in peace and check out Newton's law? What's the connection between the balls and the scientist who got hit in the head by an apple? You'll see. The toilet's needed for, um, less scientific purposes. <laughs> so, what about Newton? And what are these bricks and rails doing here? We will test the rolling friction of balls. It's described in Newton's second law. Wow, 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 holy cannoli! Sue, do you want to drive me crazy? Why? I'm speaking English, using English words. Let's start from the beginning. Rolling friction? How many laws does this Newton have anyway? Ooh, are you ready for a mini lecture on physics? 
then let's start! Actually, the story about the apple is just a myth. Isaac Newton was developing the theory of gravitation for a long time, and the apples falling from the tree in his garden were driving him to the right conclusions. Interesting. Mm-hmm, I agree. But this great scientist described many other curious facts. He came up with three laws of motion that other scientists named after him. Huh, what happens if I break one of them? <laughs> Sammy, it's impossible. It's nature. Newton described things he saw in nature. And called them laws? How clever. Sammy, can I suspend my lecture for a sec and show something to our viewers? Oh, I won't miss a lecture on architecture either! So come on, show me! I'm making windows in our future tower. We'll need them to put the rails. In total, there will be two towers through which the railroad will pass. A plastic road, actually. Sammy, could you assemble the second tower like this? Oh, exactly like this. To a T. <laughs> Easy peasy. However, I won't break any law. You better not. Speaking about Newton's laws, these bricks also follow one of them. The first law says that while the object is not acted upon by an external force, or the forces are balanced, the object remains at rest. But <laughs> if I move one of the bricks, the second and the third laws will come into force. Guys, are you interested in physics? Give a thumbs up if you've ever tested some of these laws of science. A small step for man, and a giant leap for mankind! What are you up to? I'm trying to break the law of gravity. And how's it going? Ugh, I guess I can't trick gravitation that Newton was sly. <laughs> While Sammy is trying to trick the laws of nature and physics, I suggest we proceed with our craft. Let's seal the joints with the grout so it looks more neat. After all, we are dealing not only with science, but with art as well. So everything has to look beautiful. Let's remove all the extra parts. This way. It reminds me of a meringue. Do you agree, guys? Give a thumbs up if yes. Or maybe just the whipped cream. Ah, oh, that made me a little hungry. <laughs> Do not rush. This part needs patience. Finishing up wiping the joints with a wet cloth. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. Da da. Hmm, Sammy's been so quiet. I begin to worry when he's missing for so long. This platform and a couple of bricks will form the finish station. Oh, oops! Sammy, I heard something falling! So, you know, the flower grows up. That means it overcomes gravitation. Let's assume that's true. That means it breaks the law of gravity! I tried to turn it upside down. Oh, Sammy… Oh, hold on! Then… The gravity took advantage of it. You know what I mean? No, not really. You have to hold on tight to your roots so gravity can't break you. I just understood that we suffered a loss in the form of a house plant. I hope that Sammy will replant it successfully. Give a thumbs up if you believe in gravity and don't try to challenge it. Meanwhile, our lower platform is ready. So our towers are absolutely identical, but we need to make a serpentine. Here's the trick. If we place one of the towers sideways, we can make two sloping roads. Ugh, Sue, I guess you're on gravity's side. What makes you say that? You're building a mechanism to roll balls on. Uh, I don't take your hint, Sammy. They will roll down, forced by gravity, since the laws apply to them. Right, so what's that got to do with me? You're building slanted rails! This way you're helping gravity! <laughs> I guess you just came up with a perfect conspiracy theory! <laughs> Ugh, you laugh for nothing! One day I'll break gravity and I'll be able to fly! <laughs> you sound like Icarus. Like who? Oh, I'll tell you about him next time. And now, check out what we have here! Wow, 
science is just the best. Shall we start the race? I couldn't choose the proper suit for such an important event. So you decide to be a pilot? <laughs> I'm, as you said, Icarus. Then watch. Woo! Here we go! Graceful! They're rolling so easily! There you go again! Just enjoy them sliding! I can see you're tired of lectures? Yes, a little. Let me just relax watching this and I'll be ready to listen again! <laughs> Guys, do you like our craft? Mesmerizing, right? Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up! And hurry up and hit the bell button! See ya in the next videos, which ya won't miss for sure! Bye-bye!